Good morning, Nikos. It's so lovely Hi, to see Vibes. you. Good morning, everyone. Mm, you're looking so beautiful. And I feel the presence of you Archangel too. Michael with us and Raphael. And it's just such a glorious morning, full moon. And I thought, let's, uh, let's do a beautiful get together. Great, fantastic. Yeah. So let us take a deep breath. Let's start already. Let's start. Let us take a deep breath and breathe in and out. And uh, connect our heart with the center of the earth and feel our connection. Feel our roots with Mother Earth. Take a deep breath and feel our connection with the source of all creation, with the sun, with all suns. And we're evoking all the light beings throughout eternity, ascended masters, galactic brothers and sisters, angelic and angelic kingdom, the crystals, Mother Earth, the elementals, the Elohim, the fairies, the butterflies, the unicorns, all light beings to join us in this gathering, in this now. And uh, whatever we wish for ourselves, we wish for everyone on the planet. So this is a powerful statement, invocation from Archangel Michael. I am, I am presence and I'm one with the am presence of all humanity. I am, I am presence and I'm one with my mother, father, God. I am. Mm. I now decree on this beautiful full moon for myself and for all humanity, joy, abundance, and unconditional love. May this unconditional love fill my being, my thoughts, my surroundings, the cities, the countries, and the whole of Mother Earth, that a wave of unconditional love flood this earth and bring us together in love and in unity. May the communities come together and may we experience a new presence that we have never felt before. May we constantly be anointed in this beautiful new earth that we live in, that we walk upon. And may we be aware of our power and our abundance in every single moment. We decree now that we are abundant. And we create from love and from unity consciousness from now forth. And anything that is not of unconditional love and may have a discordance that this may be removed from our reality right now. Invoking such a gratitude that we may wake up every morning with a song in our hearts and that, that we may listen to the birds, listen to their song, and that we may listen with our higher soul, our higher mind, and that we may never fall back into the human mind and the human limitation. Thank you, masters. I thank myself. I thank you, Nikos. Ever present in the moment. Thank you. So we thank the, God uh, to do it. Oh, it's so much gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are magnificent. 
we are. And you love us ourselves infinitely as one with the source of all creation. That's so beautiful. So I haven't seen you in uh, a few weeks, which is very strange. You are on holiday. Uh, yeah. Uh, that is exactly how you can call it. Absolutely. And um, I was just so aware of every step that we take on this earth. It was a really holy day for you, right? It holy a, days, holy days. Hey, yes, exactly. It's holy. Because every I know step. you've been in the pyramids and everything. Yeah, yes. And in the rivers. And I was activating again. And I uh, became so aware of the new web of Mother Earth that we, you and I, you and I are activators. You are a creator God. And I was so aware of the work that we do. And we, we just wanted to share the new earth and the reality presenting itself now and how we can function within this new uh, 5D, this new mother earth. And I, I was just uh, during my holy days and I just, I, this just, when <laughs> I, I have no words, I often have no words. When you become really, really, when it really sinks in, how holy Mother Earth is, how holy you are, how holy I am, it just blows my mind. So when we get to this point, what is it? What is the possibility? What is this party all about? What are we busy with? I would like to ask you this. Yes, so let us take a very small example that is easy to understand for everyone. In this moment, we have like a house that is totally destroyed. I am a destroyer, you're a destroyer. You came on this planet to destroy what doesn't work, to prepare for the new. So this building is completely destroyed now. And now we start again from the foundations, rebuild again. So this is our body. Our bodies are changing from carbon-based to crystalline-based. We become the Christ self, each and every one of us, Christ crystal. So this is the new materials that are used in our bodies to become this new a human angel, galactic mm. human. We become part of the wider society of the galactic, uh, of the galaxies. And this is a process called uh, evolution, ascension. And it's taking place full time now. We went into this accelerating time right now with the energies. It's the first time in the history of humanity in all our existence that the energies are now are, are four times stronger than ever. And in this now moment, more than ever, we have to be careful about the words we speak because all our dreams, wanted or unwanted, if we speak about them, they manifest. So we really have to be careful the words we speak out. And this is how in incredible and magic is this work we are doing within. As we go within and find alignment with who we really are, because who we really are is more than this flesh this body, we find alignment with our true self, our higher self, God within. Then from there, everything starts to come forward. And it's a beautiful tapestry of life. It's a tapestry of a new earth tapestry. Eight billion people, each one of them doing what they love. So everybody has their own definition and you're all different. So it's a very a challenging time for us in this town moment because I, 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 have, I have challenged to accept all the difference from other people, what they bring forward. And it's surprising to see what's taking place and how much this, this we are in the lion now. The lion, it's loving, but at the same time it's fierce. Oh, it's, it's very fierce. Yes. So it's, it's, 
both both same things. So sometimes this love can, can may come out with love, like we were speaking a while ago with haha, like that, and then it's coming with power. Yeah, that 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 really don't go out of your way. It's just this is the way you're moving forward. So we just had a conversation a while ago, and then we can feel the energies like coming forward. Yeah. So yes. I'm so thankful really for witnessing this to have a place and I embrace all of it. And yeah. I embrace our differences. And as much as it's challenging for me, I think it's for everybody, but we can make it easy. We can accept each other with our differences and, and move forward. However, this, this new self looks like we're changing, we're changing all the time. We don't know how it will be in, 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 uh, in a few weeks. We're changing every moment. So we don't even know ourselves how we're going to be, what we're going to create. We just have a, an idea of what we want to create and manifest. But I know this is the final result <laughs> will be so much different of what we are expecting because, because we, are, we are so much more than we really think we are. We don't know who we really are. We, we are discovering this by, for ourselves. So this is a beautiful journey within. The birds are, you know, talking with you. One the thing that I... <laughs> I know how I feel. <laughs> exactly, yes. Exactly. And I think the more we start to live in the now, we become aware that this is a dance with creation. We are dancing with the birds, with Mother Earth. And I am becoming so much more aware of unity consciousness. If the Lion's Gate, where last year and the years before it was such a integration of the soul and of the I, of who you are, who you really are. And uh, it was so amazing because this time, and still the energies are pouring in, but this time I really was so happily surprised to see that we were all uh, also being connected with each other. So I met some very important people the past few weeks, and I was shown that we are weaving this tapestry that you are talking about, this tapestry of the creation. Because what is happening is that the 3D web of Mother Earth is totally dissolved now. It's totally inactive. There are programs yes. running, they are running, but they are, you can see it when you walk around, you know, you can see something is hollow or a, a person is talking to you, but he's not really there. He's not really present in the moment. And you can speak and speak and speak to this person, but they really don't hear you. And part of you and I, one of our beautiful um, new ways of living is being multidimensional. And when I look into the future, I see this reality totally going up in nothing. I would like to remind people to, to not spend any more energy in this anymore so easy it's so easy to be drawn into something but please be aware i'm speaking uh, for somebody that might be listening that just needs a little bit of you know courage today be present with your heart and with yourself and to not get drawn into something that is going to self-destruct. Because when you, when you disrespect or, or you know, disown your own soul, it leads to nothing, no thing. So it's really asking us to be present in the moment and to be so aware 
of the present power of the present moment. When we meet totally. these, yeah, when we meet these people, these activators, when we come together, we know, we just know. And I think for today, for this beautiful full moon, we have the opportunity to create from unconditional love, from abundance, and from this beautiful unity consciousness, which is just turning out to be, I don't know, it's, and it's still being unwrapped. It's still unwrapping itself, the possibilities. The thing I want to share with you when you speak these things is, uh, we are already the essence of everything that we wish to manifest. We are already it. We are already it. It's like in this now moment, yesterday when I was busy in my, my, in my, in my working in what I wish to manifest, I was like, hey, I don't need to, to focus specifically on the outcome. Just being in the joy in the now just flowing with the joyful energy, having fun all along the day, being this energy. This is what allows everything to come forward instead of me trying to control with my mind what is it I wish to manifest. Because the more I align with who I really am, the more I, be I, I become aware of my essence, yeah. your essence, our essence, yeah. as one with the source of all creation, the more things come easier. So, so why do I, I have to just, I have, I know what these things are also manifest. I have my list of things. I have my boxes <laughs> of stuff I put inside. I love it. Yes, but, but then I said to myself, okay, this is done. This mm -hmm. is a universe. Mm -hmm. I asked you, it is done. So now all I need to do is live in full appreciation of what this is now moment and eagerness about what is coming. So appreciate every little thing that there is in my reality, whether I have it or not, what I have, yes. Even what I don't have, I can also appreciate. Appreciate even the contrast, the okay. contrast of the existence because the contrast is showing me what I don't want in so, order to create what I do want. Yeah. So it's appreciating everything and everyone, the people, okay. everybody Let's with the differences. That. Yeah. Even those who show me that they're they're really angry and they're really full of hate, maybe you know anything. Mm -hmm. Appreciate them because they are on their own journey and they show me something. And everybody has yes. their own journey. Yes. And this is what this this beautiful planet is all about. Oh, that's beautiful. Free will is there, and divine will is taking control now. And like you said, you know we we must become aware of divine will within yes. in order to create a new and divine will does not mean i have to listen to my parents to to family to any relative what they tell me i have to listen inside me i'm not here to satisfy to make not everybody to make to be nice with people around me i'm here to listen to this inner voice yes. telling me what is the new way of creating the new earth because that is my intention that is why i came here for create the new earth and that is exactly. what i want to share with you as you share this world i love it let's because do that I, yeah because let's, i go uh, through, this, through mm -hmm. these experiences in my life with people and friends they want me to go back in this all the realities they want me to be to be part of this 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 older nikos but i'm a new version and a new planet and i have inner guidance and that's the only voice i listen the only voice i move yeah exactly the only let's, voice that makes me happy yeah let's end with that let's um end with being so grateful and having so much gratitude Yes. in the now moment yes thank you for thank you, every thank you. single moment thank you so much thank, thank you. you so much for this wonderful get together thank you thank you Adele. thank you much love i appreciate much you so much thank you thank you